the markovitz portfolio throws light on certain other issues like estimation issues uh, that are related with determining the variances and other riskiness measures of the market portfolio the efficient frontier and the efficient frontier and the investors utility curves so far as the estimation issues are concerned we know that the results of portfolio allocation depends upon accurate statistical inputs for every asset to be a part of the portfolio their expected return their standard deviation and the correlation between the two assets among the entire set of assets is to be estimated so these are the measures that are required to be estimated in order to determine the uh, riskiness and and return of a portfolio here is an example for example uh, for a portfolio of 100 assets the number of correlations are uh, 4950 so we for a portfolio of 100 assets we need to determine the correlations in the number of 4950 and it is a significant number of estimations so there may be an estimation risk which means the potential source of error that arises from these approximations using assumptions that stock returns can be described by a single market model a number of correlations required can be reduced to the number of assets so there is an assumption and that single as uh, index market model is basically uh where r i is equal to alpha plus beta of r i into r m plus the error component in this model the beta is basically the slope coefficients that relates the security i uh, returns to the aggregate stock market returns by r m we mean the aggregate stock market return so this is the single index market model that can help us in reducing the significant amount of estimations if all the securities are similarly uh, similarly related to the market and beta of security i is derived for each of the security then it can be shown that a uh, correlation between two asset is given as uh, this is the formula which is used to determine that said correlation in this formula sigma square m is basically the variances of the returns for aggregate stock market this equation reduces the number of estimates from 4950 to 100 this means that this equation assumes that the single index market model provides a good estimate of security returns now come to the efficient frontier on the screen's left panel you can see that there are certain curves that are combining certain portfolio of assets basically how these curves are drawn with all possible combinations of different two asset portfolios and all possible weights these curves can be drawn so this means that to draw such curves we means any two assets any two different assets and using different combinations of these two assets we can draw these types of curves and on the right panel of the screen you can see there is a thick curve that is encompassing the all possible portfolios this thick curve is known as the efficient frontier so this is basically the envelope curve that contains the all possible co combinations that we have just seen on the left panel of the screen now how this efficient frontier works basically this efficient frontier signifies a set of portfolio that offers two factors to the investor it basically at first offers a maximum rate of return for every given level of risk and or the minimum risk for every level of return so at efficient frontier of uh, efficient frontier 
the investor can choose any security that offers him maximum rate of return for a given level of risk or in another way the investor at efficient frontier can select any security that offers him minimum riskiness for uh, every level of return then uh, due to the benefits of diversification among imperfectly correlated assets the frontier will be the portfolio of investments rather than individual securities that we can see in this diagram here we have portfolio of f and portfolio of b alongside this efficient frontier but there are two exceptions on this efficient frontier at the ends of this efficient frontier we can see only the portfolio carrying a stand alone asset for example at the maximum end we have a portfolio that contains only one asset and that is asset 2 this asset 2 is offering the highest most expected return and on the other end of the efficient frontier we have another asset that is asset 1 this is a stand alone asset portfolio this portfolio of asset 1 offer the most least riskiness of the portfolio to the investors every portfolio lies on the efficient frontier has either a higher rate of return for the equal risk or lower riskiness for an equal rate of return than some portfolio beneath the frontier this means that any portfolio that lies on this thick line that portfolio will offer either higher return than a given riskiness or lesser risk then a given level of expected return then the portfolios that are available under this efficient frontier to understand this case let an example where portfolio a is dominating portfolio B, c because the portfolio of a is offering the same level of expected return but a lesser level of riskiness similarly the portfolio b is dominating portfolio c because for the same level of riskiness the portfolio of b is uh, offering a higher rate of return as we can see that c is offering what level of expected return but the b is offering higher level of expected return but both are offering the same level of riskiness so that is the fundamental feature of any efficient frontier an investor can choose any point alongside the efficient frontier uh, based on his utility function which reflects his attitude towards the risk uh, remember no portfolio on efficient front can dominate any other portfolio on the same efficient frontier all of these portfolios have different returns and risk measures with expected rate of returns that increases with the riskiness now let come to the efficient frontier and the investors utility curve an investors utility curve basically specifies the trade off he is going or willing to make between expected rate of return and the standard deviation or riskiness of the portfolio slope of the efficient frontier curve decreases steadily at one as one moves upward uh, this means that with every incremental standard deviation additional expected return goes on decreases and that is the feature of the this uh, uh, utility curve interaction of efficient frontier and utility curve basically determine the particular particular portfolio on the efficient frontier that uh, best suits the individual investors attitude towards the riskiness of the portfolio he is investing on the left panel of the screen you can see there is two types of interacting graph the first is the efficient frontier and the other six lines are basically the investors utility curves so we have two sets of utility curves along with the 
एफिशियंट फ्रंट ईयर ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट वी हैव थ्री सेट्स ऑफ यूटिलिटी कर्व दैट इज यू वन प्राइम यू टू प्राइम एंड यू थ्री प्राइम देन वी हैव अदर थ्री सेट्स ऑफ यूटिलिटी कर्व यू वन यू टू एंड यू थ्री दीज यू वन टू यू टू एंड यू थ्री कर्व आर द स्ट्रॉगली रिस्क एवर्स इन्वेस्टर्स बिहेवियर एंड द कर्व विद प्राइम आर शोइंग द बिहेवियर ऑफ लो रिस्क और कंजर्वेटिव इन्वेस्टर वी सी दैट द कर्व्स यू वन यू टू एंड यू थ्री आर क्वाइट स्टीप दिस मीन्स दैट द इन्वेस्टर विल नॉट बियर मच एडिशनल रिस्क इन ऑर्डर टू ऑप्टेन एनी एडिशनल रिटर्न एंड ऑल्सो द इन्वेस्टर इज बेसिकली इक्वली सेटिस्फाइड टूवर्ड्स एनी रिस्क रिटर्न कॉम्बिनेशन अलॉन्ग साइड द कर्व एंड स्पेसिफिकली the u1 utility curve the other utility curves u1 prime u2 prime and u3 prime these are featuring a low risk averse investor this means such investor is is willing to take little more risk for higher expected level of return now how these curves can help in determining an optimal portfolio so first we need to define what is the optimal portfolio optimal portfolio is such type of portfolio that has highest utility for a given investor and such portfolio lies at the point of tangency between the efficient frontier and one of the investors utility curve so we can say that the point where the investors utility curve is tangent to the efficient frontier at that point the portfolio if located is called as the optimal portfolio because such portfolio at such tangent point offers highest utility to the investor for example we see that any conservative investors highest utility at point x where the u2 curve is just touching the efficient frontier so this is the optimal portfolio for the investor x because it is offering him the highest utility for a given level of riskiness we see another example where a less risk investors highest utility is occurring at point y which representing higher expected return and higher riskiness than the riskiness of portfolio s so this y point is uh, basically the optimal portfolio for investor which is at u2 prime because this is offering him the highest utility for highest rate of riskiness and this rate of riskiness and return is much higher than the portfolio x